Namaste beautiful yogis. I have um, for you today a video that I enjoy watching other youtubers do favorites of the month. So you're going to have to in, um, embrace my creative chaos. <laughs> This is my reality and I didn't straighten up for this video because I kind of find it to be a little more real. Alright, so that's real life and today I have created a video of favorites of the month and it's kind of a random list of things. There is just random fruits and music and um, makeup and mascara and just, just the recipe, just different things and i will either show you um the favorites or include a, a little um b-roll of them if i don't have them right now so um baby is keeping me company <laughs> she's eating my makeup uh let's grab this from you uh yeah i'll grab this from you yeah that's not for you <laughs> it's a brush and um uh, we're going to get started with my first favorite of the month and it is the month of right now it's uh, November right October it's October and dates are in season so that's my first favorite if I've been loving fresh juicy medjool dates I will include a photo of them because I'm out of them that's how much I love them I just finished them so that's my first favorite they're just amazing they give me a ton of energy and usually if I eat a lot of dates I'm able to record a crazy yoga class right mama and oh and, and they produce insanely delicious breast milk so they're win-win for everybody uh, this is my first favorite after that oh my god if I look a, weird, a little weird it's because I have not been getting a ton of sleep baby has been waking me up a lot and um, she's going through a developmental sport so it's been a lot of waking up but overall i feel good i feel energetic i can work out and i think some of it is and also my body doesn't hurt so i think some of it is due to the mattress that i sleep on it's mattress eight nothing hurts on me and they sent me this mattress when i was pregnant and i wasn't sure what is it so amazing about it it is a mattress made in america it's a memory mattress but without all the um, um the sprays that go into uh, memory foam mattresses the regular ones this one doesn't have chemicals and the most important thing it doesn't have flame retardants which i have heard can contribute to um uh, sits the sudden death syndrome in kids because of the their their lungs are not fully developed yet but to deal with such heavy chemicals flame retardants are really nasty chemicals so i really really can't speak high enough about it i think i'm gonna do a video on like yoga for a bit or something like this because it's it's firm yet it's soft you know how and it's um flame retardant free it's made in america it's 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 cool stuff all right next thing is ooh, sorry i got too excited i've been making this amazing coffee latte in the morning and i'll tell you the recipe quickly now but watch out i'm going to record the recipe tomorrow because it's that good it's like helicopter outside it's like the most gourmet coffee you will ever try and i'm making it myself so for it you will need a, a nut milk foamer i have a really good one that really fluffs up the milk really well but it doesn't work with every milk it just works with um the trader joe's almond milk and i think with the silk coconut almond milk you have to experiment it some milk just stay flat the organic coconut milk from uh, Whole Foods uh, and Sprouts, it just stays flat, it doesn't foam. So you have to see which milks uh, work, but uh, the Trader Joe's almond milk works great. And either almond breeze or silk coconut almond, one of the two really foams up like three times its size. It's like drinking clouds. All right, so I foam the milk with a little bit of stevia. It's unsweetened milk. And then I mix cinnamon um, coconut water which I get at Sprouts with uh, cold brew coffee. I just treated myself uh, 
to cold brew a pre-made coffee but you can make your own cold brew so i put cold brew and cinnamon uh, and coconut water with cinnamon and i spin this in the blender and then i pour this over foamy uh, milk literally your jaw will drop it's the best experience in the world it's that good so i'll try to uh, upload the recipe but i told you the recipe i'll just try to upload it for visual purposes but it's it's amazing that has been my favorite of the month i literally look forward to the mornings because of this and i put very little uh, cold brew coffee my cold brew is weak and the rest is just coconut juice and almond milk so it's i try to keep it low on the um, on the caffeine part all right next i'm looking at my notes because i don't wanna uh, i don't wanna forget something notes uh say my next favorite of the month is um this mascara it was i finally got tired of my mascaras that did nothing for me so i decided let me see which is considered the best vegan mascara on the market and it was better than sex two-faced uh mascara i wouldn't say it's the best mascara i'm wearing it right now uh i just took a shower so um i don't know if i applied it well uh but um I wouldn't say it's the best mascara I've ever had or the best mascara in the world but it is the best that I've had in quite a while and I will continue testing other vegan mascaras and updating you on it but this one is worth getting um, I, I got it on sale it's like $23 but I got it on sale so it was around 18 or something like this I will link it below and uh, I think uh, I will link it below on Sephora and if you have Sephora coupons and stuff probably you can get it it's, it's not the cheapest mascara but it, it's vegan cruelty free super important and it does make it does give oomph to your lashes <laughs> babies <laughs> destroying my props hey baby <laughs> those are some of my favorites of the month all right next is um rose water rose water has been my favorite for the last few months baby gets a rash from certain foods and um are you destroying my props baby gets a rash from certain foods and i spray rose water on them and then through the day i spray this just as a moisturizer for my skin it's really refreshing it makes me feel really good Sometimes you can put lavender, uh, one drop of lavender oil in it, but it's just something about rose water, and you can do it on your um, on your uh, hair as well. Bulgarian rose water. Um, I got it in this small container so I can carry it around, but I have the big container too, and that's the one that uh, is sold on Amazon directly from a Bulgarian seller. So it's amazing. Get it? God, my props are getting destroyed, and um, beautiful props too. yes this house is a permanent mess right right how could of you to be holding a pallet i don't know i don't know if if my stuff will survive this but that's all right and um rose water totally favorite of the last three four months it's it's anything that goes wrong with her or with me like if she, if she has a little rush or if um, my skin needs something I go rose water and it, it's been working really well it's moisturizing it's great for dehydrated skin I think it's great during the day for lost moisture to kind of refresh and also it, it just it has healing properties uh, it's roses the flower of beauty uh, all right next one is a company that reached out to me and wanted to send me this and I said yes and I did get excited about it now I'm taking it and I like it it's um, vegan supplement and it's really kind of designed for vegans or healthy people because it has just the stuff that tends to be lacking in people's diet minus just uh, the, a bunch of extra vitamins because you don't want to be um, taking too many vitamins that you don't need um, this one the reason why I like it is because it's B12 magnesium uh, boron it has omega trees it's low release and look at this it looks like it has spider eggs in it i don't know if you've ever had spider eggs around your house black widow eggs but i have and let's see come on the same but it has little little nuggets 
in it. It has little um, nuggets in it. There, finally. It just has little droplets of um, vitamins uh, in it. It has, the reason why I like it is because it has omega trays. And um, vitamin D, which I decided to be taking because of, of baby and breastfeeding, and I forgot mine in Bulgaria. So vitamin D3, boron, K2, K2 and D3 go together. They're really good for bone formation and so forth. Uh, I, I just did a, a ton of research. It has iron as a breastfeeding uh, mother. Most vegetarians need it. It's good to add a little bit. I I find it that as a vegan I don't need extra iron but it's kind of nice to here and there take it and vitamin E so it just has nine essential uh, vitamins without too many other ones uh, it's great for vegans so that's why I like it it's um the company is ritual I'll link the exact company below because they sell it on their website uh, they're not paying me to say this is just a cool company they did send me this though and I I'm loving it I actually am splitting it half and half for me and Johnny uh, because he's also uh, mostly vegan and um, and he tends to benefit from B12 as well. All right, next. It's a brown uh, pencil, one of those soft pencils. Um, doesn't wanna. Um, it's one of those, uh, and I'm using it to just line around my eyes without it being way too harsh for daytime. I'm using it to line my eyes. It's a soft around the eye pencil really loving it so i transitioned from black i always love black but i know it's not as it's it's not always the best to use black because it can be very harsh so that's what i've been using basically these two things plus um under eye concealer and that's about it that's all i'm using in lip gloss nothing more goes um on my face right now uh, next let's see Pencil. Oh, the next one is food. It's very random and unless you live in Southern California or a climate like this You're not gonna be able to get that but it's two fruits that are seasonal and they're amazing This is jujubes. If you live in Greece in Bulgaria, you can find it too um, In certain parts of uh, China Asia you can find it. It's amazing But you got to get it at that stage when it's really um, Brown red and also if it starts to get a little dried and uh, mushy That's the that's when it becomes like caramel cotton candy apples and really really loving it this is my favorite new fruit here i have prepared some to show you especially if it gets like this mm -hmm. inside it's like cotton candy so definitely get it if it grows in your area the other amazing thing that i've been loving is sapoti i don't know if it grows where you're at when you travel or if it grows in your area do get it it's like if a pair married an avocado that would be their child has the structure of avocado like creamy and um smooth but it kind of has the it's sweet and it has a little bit of a pear taste so it's kind of banana pearish apple -ish. Come on, focus. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. It's it's amazing. Favorite fruit. Lord is noticing that I'm eating. All right. So sapote and jujube and dates. Favorite fruits. I'm going nuts over them. I'm going bananas over them. Mm. Okay, music. Really fell in love with a few songs by Anne Brun. I'm gonna link them below. Just the YouTube videos. Oh, so good, like so emotional, so just beautiful songs. They're remakes, they're not her songs, they're old songs. But I'll, I'll link them below. They're so good. One is uh, Big in Japan, her version of it. it it's so good. She's. 
she has such a powerful impactful voice mm. the next favorite is yogi box but unfortunately uh lori took everything out this month's yogi box was ridiculously good it had um it had a spray vinegar raspberry vinegar so it's balsamic and raspberry with raspberry juice in it i really love sweet vinegars i use them a lot i buy pomegranate vinegar all the time then it has reiki energy organic uh, face spray spray it's cruelty paraben free uh phthal phthalate free how do you pronounce that natural mm, lovingly infused with reiki energy uh, HAA elixir mist. I think her dad is messing with her and she's getting her started. Um, it's um, it's a skin spray. I'm just spraying myself with essential oils and everything today. It was in the Yogi box. It's spectacular. That's my new um, makeup bag. It also came from the Yogi box uh, linen. Really cool because mine was destroyed and embarrassing. Um, this one is a really cool. It had a lip balm, but it's minty lip balm again uh, with the cruelty free logo. It kind of gives that kind of refreshing plump to your lips. What else was in here? Oh, this is so cool. They always send. I'm not a, a massive consumerist. I really don't buy much. I go a few times a year to buy clothes, and I generally buy clothes because I shoot so much and sometimes you see me with the same thing over and over again up until it's completely destroyed so sometimes for my job i get some new clothes and i buy uh, face cosmetics and herbs a lot and i buy food and fruit and i i'm very good about not drawing food out i'm just not a wasteful person i hate wasting food i'm very good so I'm not very consumerist if i buy something i use it the yogi boxes always surprise me with things that I either need or I would have bought, I would have... Um, it's just, they kind of offer stuff that's kind of things that I would normally buy or I don't know about. This is Lotus Flower on um, uh, Body Oil. It smells like patchouli, uh, sandalwood uh, in a base of sweet almond and apricot uh, and avocado oil and grapeseed oil with vitamin E. Uh, cedar sandalwood patchouli and fragrance and cedar in a cedar tip inside there is a cedar tip inside oh my god it smells like incense shop i don't know if you like how incense shops smell or like card reader shop or something or a crystal shop it's ridiculous it's like the best thing you, you walk around smelling like one of those old school uh, incense shops um it also had a cognac sponge with charcoal in it for detox and a few other things oh and a few other things one of them is featured in johnny's favorite stuff so he's gonna have a section without knowing um johnny's favorite items because there is a few things that he discovered this month that are amazing for vegans and i wanted to share them one of them was in the yogi box it was a vegan butter flavored popcorn it was so good i will try i tried to keep the bag but keep he kept throwing the bag out and i kept putting the bag from the trash back into the box and he would throw it out he's probably thinking why is she keeping an empty bag and i'm thinking keep this bag because um i want i want to show you the bag anyway so it's um the buddha popcorn or something uh i pretty much think it was the buddha something popcorn anyways that's the popcorn but the butter flavored one oh my god so good for vegans then we discovered this bread i've been seeing it for quite a while but i've never tried it it's dave's um killer bread apparently he hired he gives people a second chance and because he was in prison for 15 years the owner of the or the fa founder of the company the bread is this one is the sprouted and also the 21 grains it's it tastes like Easter cake from my childhood in Bulgaria Kuzunak. Tastes exactly like this, except for it's organic, healthy bread. I, I wouldn't say eat it every day, but if you're ta uh, if you're craving something like indulgent and spongy and soft and it's ridiculously awesome, get this bread. It's so good. I even uh, left them review on Facebook. Such good bread. And the other one is Beyond Burger, the burger it's for anybody that's craving meat it's a great great alternative it's vegan it had vegan dha in it uh vitamin b12 added to it and the taste is just like barbecued meat so 
I personally eat very simply like I love right now cauliflower with olives I'll just eat that uh, but uh, Johnny likes to make us um, like a sandwich with mustard and lettuce and that bread and stuff and that works so well for him he just loves that um, so I think it's great that there is this big argument I know about if Beyond Burger is Beyond Meat is a cool thing and it's so much controversy around it and I think if you can eat unprocessed foods, eat them, but if you crave something like that, that's all right. It's still a lot better than um, uh, killing animals. So, and it's great that there is such alternatives and this one has DHA in it, so omega-3 is kind of like fish oil, but vegan fish oil from algae. So I think it's great. Um, oh, for the Yogi Box, I am an ambassador for Yogi Box and um, that's why I keep getting their boxes and I, I always have a, a coupon for the lifetime of your subscription. I think 15% for the lifetime of your subscription. So I will post it below. And um, I think that's it. I, I pretty much shared a lot of my favorites this month. I've been very passionate about the coffee. So watch out for the recipe. I'll try to upload a recipe about it. And of course, oh, I forgot to uh, post my most favorite thing and I'll try to take a video of it is meal time with Lori. We got her a high chair and now when we sit down, she gets to try apples and other things. Is that you? Is that you, baby? So that's my most favorite thing of the month. I'm pretty sure that most of my most favorite things of the month are baby things, uh, but I wanted to share the adult things because most of you are not probably moms or not moms to a baby baby. Uh, so I don't want to bore you and I want to relate to you on an adult level. Uh, but those are my favorites of the month. Um, also, uh, I haven't written that down, but I will include this as a finishing touch to my uh, video, is the straps. Those have been my favorites for the workouts. They are booty builders. Uh, so that's my favorite of the month. Oh, and I'm going to be using them for the upcoming, we're starting a 30 day core challenge. Join in on the 20th this month so those are my favorites for the month i think i kind of covered everything sorry if i was a little distracted i didn't have a choice because baby's playing with everything and i want to make sure that she's safe uh but those are my favorites of the month i hope they gave you some ideas and uh, oh no i forgot my last favorite of the month is a, a salt uh, lamp by a company that is making this light and i've been loving this light because it offers me soft light during the night while baby is sleeping and it's also an essential essential oil and water diffuser so they sent me a salt salt lamp which is a lamp that you plug into your bathroom uh during the night so there is soft lighting that doesn't wake you up but that you're not tripping around i plugged it into my bathroom and love my bathroom it gives it this soft rosy feel at night like a spa feel that's my favorite i will um double check with them if they have coupons and i will post them if they do uh, below otherwise i'll just post the link to the light i think they will have coupons um because they did have a few months ago uh, so i will double check with that but that's literally my most favorite thing of the month because it's it's every time i enter the bathroom i feel kind of kind of i don't know it, it has a feel to it it's such a soft pink glowy rose light so those are my favorites um i was hesitant about adding some things uh, um, some products or some things like the support because not everybody can find it but maybe next month i will add just like something that everybody can have like um uh, olives and cauliflower